Hi, welcome to my channel, Dynastic Legacy. It's Dia Danu Elishmar, your hostess, and I am going to do a brief video today about crystal altars and their uses and how you could use them to help achieve your goals, help you achieve your goals. I just recently opened up an Etsy shop um, sooner than expected, and I will go into more details about that process in a subsequent video. But this is just a quick one to show you, to give you a bit of an example of um, arranging or creating a crystal altar and setting it with the intentions to help you energetically achieve your goal or several sets of goals that you may have. So I tried to take the um, take my phone and flip it while it's recording. It didn't work. So I did a short little video before doing this video and I'm going to insert it here and there um, as I speak. So right now, as I'm working on uh, stocking my Etsy shop and whatnot. So I'm just gonna pick up what base I'm working with right now. And these are the energies that I have um, that are providing me with support. So how do they provide me with support? First and foremost, they're beautiful. I love surrounding myself with beauty. Who doesn't, right? Um, second, I just have such a, a strong affinity for these particular crystals because the experiences I've had with them have been impactful and profound. So of course I want them around me while I'm stocking my Etsy shop or working on a paper, my final actually. So the one of the main crystals I love having around with me is a fire and ice quartz that I purchased while I was in Sedona. And the experiences I've had um, are pretty much like out of this world. The, the crystal actually in, in and of itself called me to it while I was walking through the shop. And um, when I went into ceremony, the mothers were kind of pretty much speaking through it. So most of the time when I'm working on a big project, particularly one that they've revealed that I should be working on, I will have this by my computer. And I always, always place my crystals, um, I have them elevated. So I place them on a birch wood. So if it's a birch slice, if it's just this one that I have with me, then I'll just have this. But as I've shown you earlier, I have um, these crystals sitting on a petrified wood. Now I use either petrified wood or birch because of the symbolic significance behind both. And I'll put that in the description. The next one I have is amethyst. I'm not, I'm generally not an amethyst, uh, attracted to amethyst, an amethyst fan. I mean, it's beautiful when it sparkles in the light. Um, this one I purchased from a crystal seller. Um, during a live show and I don't yeah mainly I got it because of the rainbows and so what I love about quartz crystals with uh, rainbow inclusions or any crystal with rainbow inclusions as a matter of fact is the display of light and I meditate with that a lot. Like I like to sit in my window seat and when the sun is shining through it, just have a crystal in my hand and just really meditate on the beauty of it. Like it's really calming. And so amethyst, as it was revealed to me, is, is a stone that helps with um, developing and enhancing one's intuition. Um, and it's also a good stone to serve as a catalyst to connect you with um, I can say angelic beings, but divine beings to help you with your spiritual awareness and uh, your intuition. And so how does this work with fire and ice or rainbow quartz and um, these two together? Or quartz is, it's, a, it's like a, it's a master stone and it's an amplifier. 
So not only is this a master teacher for me personally, and the mothers communicate, have communicated, and sometimes they do. Oh, look at the rainbows. I don't know if you can see them. It's even better when the sunlight is shining through it. Um, I receive a lot of helpful and useful insights um, to help me accomplish a goal or a task. And so having these two together, it's just like they're, they're both quartz. And so it's just like the, the amplification of the insights and the intuition, it's, it's powerful and I, I love it. I just adore it. This one is one of my favorites. It's a polished Lemurian crystal. It's, it's clear quartz as well, but the clarity of this, ah, yeah, you can barely see my eye. <laughs> the clarity is amazing. Um, and it's polished, so that means you don't see any of the Mutsu lines or the lines, the striations that you would normally see. I'm going to show you an example. This one is a Colombian Lemurian. And I almost always carry this around with me. Sometimes even while I'm just in the, in the apartment, I, I walk around with it. Um, this is Brazilian. So clarity. This is why I have Brazilian Lemurian uh, quartz when I, at my workspace. Um, Colombian uh, Lemurian crystals provide clarity for me for transcendent matters matters of the temple, matters of my purpose and path. Um, but when it comes to um, Brazilian Lemurian quartz, I use it for clarity on earthly matters, worldly matters, um, to clear my thoughts, really. And so having this, you know, I need clarity, focus. I want, I can multitask, I can be all over the place. If I don't like one thing, it's like, oh, let me do this other thing. Okay, I'm bored, I don't wanna get back to the first thing, so I'll do something else. Um, Having this by my workspace helps me to maintain that focus. And so having a rainbow quartz or a fire and ice quartz and a Lemurian is just like the amplification of that focus. Clear quartz is already an amplifier. So to have, you know, double the punch really helps me to achieve my, my daily goals. And then of course, having an amethyst, you know, with the intuitive insight and connection it's it's a really good um, trio to have. Next, I have one of my other favorites. I have so many favorites. These two, like clear quartz is my favorite. Ultimately my favorite. Um, second, spirit quartz. I love this crystal. I love it because, well not this one particular, but I love spirit quartz because it fast tracked my process of connecting to my highest self and really integrating her energy, right? Integrating higher aspects of myself um, so that I could evolve pretty much. Um, and so having it here with my, with the rest of the crystals, it's sort of like a, a supportive reminder, like a companion, you know, pulling her in to, pulling more of her in, I should say, to keep me focused, you know, my cheerleader in a sense. And that's why, and it's small. <laughs> Some say, you know, size doesn't really matter uh, when it comes to the potency of crystals. And I say it really depends because my focus is on getting things up for my Etsy shop and writing my paper. It's, she's like a, you know, having this size, it's, it's pretty decent. It keeps the energy there, but it's not too overbearing. Smoky Citron. This is expensive. This tiny little thing. It costs a pretty penny. I have a much larger one and that costs an even prettier penny. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> it took me a while to be able to be in the right space energetically to purchase a citrine. This is from Brazil. And I lucked out with this one online because sometimes when you when they're listed, 
you don't get to see the um, the beautiful array of, of inclusions and how the light reflects. Um, tomorrow, it'll, there'll be more sunshine and I'll do another video. I'll add these in again, just so that you can see the, oh. it's, it's the sparkle, but it's, it's a sparkle through a crystal, through crystals that does something to me energetically, like the way it reflects in my eyes. Like when I look at the sun or at the sunlight after being inside or just, you know, being bombarded with unnatural light, with like lamps and whatnot. And then I look at you know, the sunlight, my eyes just feels like it's just drinking in, <laughs> drinking in the energy. Um, I get that same experience when I meditate with a crystal that has all of these inclusions in it and you get the rainbows, the rainbow effects. It's just, it's comforting. So citrine, why do I have citrine? Um, on the one hand, it's, it's a good manifester for um, material, uh, monetary wealth, monetary success. So of course, with starting a business and uploading items. It's like, all right, I need your help. <laughs> come join the, uh, come join the gang, right? Um, why not have my larger one there? Because I was told to include this one. And so also as you work more with crystals, you'll get a, you'll get a hang of the energetic frequency, the energy that just flows around and through them so that you can listen and be guided. Last but not least, one of my favorite, garnet. It's a garnet nugget I bought in Oakland about two years ago. I, there are so, there are so many different meanings behind this, but the main reason why I have this with my, um, with my altar right now is to help ground and stabilize all of these energies. You know, it's, it's that's why it sits in the middle. It's kind of like, you know, it's grounding, it's stabilizing, and it's pulling in all of the the energy that I to help manifest the intentions that I have behind uploading um, materials and merchandise to my Etsy shop and also with my paper. Um, the more esoteric meanings that have been revealed to me. Maybe I'll reveal that in another video or or not. Who knows? Um, and lastly, why petrified wood? Why petrified wood as opposed to birch? Um, because it's old. It's more grounded. It's crystallized. And I love it. And because I love it, it knows that I love it. And therefore it radiates that to the rest of the crystals. And therefore the energy of the space um, holds my intention. So that is my short and sweet introductory video of crystal altars. I will post a much longer uh, video and provide in more of my uh more videos of my uh personal collection just so that you can see what it looks like and how to how, for you to better understand how to um engage a crystal altar if you so decide to purchase any from me um they go through a very long cleansing and blessing process so all of that will be explained in the next video so thank you for watching i hope it's been enlightening and insightful and I will see you in the next one. Good night.